Hello, this is Geotechlan, and today I'll be showing off Semu on Linux. Before I get started, though, let me tell you the settings I'll be running here. So, to start with the kernel, I'm using 4.19.1, and obviously, I'm running on the Manjaro OS here. Now, Semu on Linux, I've tried it before. And I didn't have much success with it. Although, since every time I would try Semu on Linux, it would play sound. And I think the, the, the emulator would run. It just wouldn't display anything. It would be black. But apparently, it turns out that since open source driver Mesa 18.2, Simu has been working. So I'm actually going to give a shout out to Raja LOLXD for pointing this out to me. Um, I mean, it had been a while since I had my PC with Manjaro running on it. Since he pointed that out, I went ahead and tried Simu. So I'm, I'm on 1.14.0 and I've seen some very promising and very good results. But before I get into it, let me at least show you which version of Mesa I'm running here. So that's 18.2.4. There may be even benefits to running 18.3 plus, but for now, this should be fine. So to actually get semi running, all you got to do really is install Wine. So I went to the software center put in wine, I'm on wine 19 point or 3.19. Let's double check here. Yeah, 3.19 here. So let's load this bad boy here. And as you can see, it being wine, you may not get the best graphical experience here. I'm going to start first with Super Mario 3D World, really just to show you a little preview of how it's running. Now, the one thing that surprised me when I saw it working was the fact that the controller worked. I did not expect that to work, actually. And obviously, Semi will load the default settings for this game here. And so what's my overall consensus on this game? It runs perfectly fine. Um, it's very much playable. Um, if I had to guess, it would be maybe like 90, 95% as good as it gets on Windows. This game has always ran pretty good though, since it's like the very beginning of Semu. But alright guys, now that you guys have a general idea, let's try a different game. Mario Kart 8 is another game that works very well. I've always had issues with Mario Kart 8 running on Windows with AMD's drivers. Although lately it's, I haven't seen an issue. But the fact that this runs perfectly on Linux now makes me feel happy. Because uh, since the drivers on Linux are open source, Semu can work with the team and even see the actual code and, and actually get it things changed if it if it needs to to run semi better and you just can't get that same experience on windows because they're closed source there it goes to show the the power of open source really keep getting owned now this game it will sometimes 
um, dip to like 35, 40 FPS. I've kind of noticed that um, it's kind of like mixed results. Um, on Windows, I would notice it would stutter a lot, like hiccup a lot to like 50. This one kind of does that too, a little bit less, but sometimes it does go down to about 35, 36 FPS as you probably just saw. But all right, that's enough of this game. And now let's try the the more important one or the more popular one. So Breath of the Wild, the original dude that let me know how this was running on Linux. He says he's got it working better, uh, this game working better on Linux than on Windows. And I just didn't get the same experience here. Obviously he uses a later version of Mesa And and again, my intention is not to really run the simulator by tweaking all kinds of things. I kind of stick to the default experience, you know. So if you get Manjaro and simply go to the repository, download Wine, download Semu, how will this game run without tweaking too much? And as you can see... There's this huge graphical glitch going on. And the performance seems actually a little bit worse now. But it was kind of sticking to about 15, 16. So it's definitely only like 70% of the performance that you can get on Windows, even with AMD's uh, terrible drivers. But this is still very promising. And honestly, I'm not worried about this. It's, it can only really get better from here. At least the menu loads okay. But yes, I think you have seen enough here. This is very exciting because now you can pretty much do everything gaming-wise on Linux than you could on Windows. So like Steam coming out with Steam Play and now Semu starting to work on Linux very easily without tweaking too much is a very good sign. And it's just the power of open source. Uh, Windows itself, usually comparing to Mac, has always been the OS that you can kind of play around with, customize, it gives you a lot of freedom. But Linux and open source gives you even more freedom and more collaboration because everything's open. So other than that, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.